This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph was her husband and faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name of Jesus. It's easy to see that ultimately Christmas is a love story. It's a story of Mary loving God so much that she was willing to say, be it unto me according to your word, and risk scorn and danger and loss and even death. It's a story of Joseph listening to God speaking through a dream, and then loving Mary so much that he took her as his wife, no matter what anyone else had said or thought. It's a story of two first-time parents gazing in wonder at the miracle God had sent them creating the King of Heaven in human arms, providing for his needs, surrounding him with love. Most of all, it's the story of God loving us, loving the world so much that he would send his only begotten Son. We light the Advent candle because love always brings light into the darkness. Love endures whatever comes. Love rejoices and hopes and forgives and never, ever fails. We remember once again that God is love. He is love that pursues no matter how far he has to go to prove it. The kind of love that is unlike anything we've ever known 